Welcome to the part 17 of the series on volume spread analysis. We have been looking at the various combination signals. In the last session, we looked at two combination signals. One was the TC bar or the trend change bar. The other one was cell condition exists or the SCE bar. Both were signs of weakness or SOWs. In this session, we will be looking at the remaining combination signals. But first, let us look at what are combination signals. A combination signal is a signal based on a sequence of conditions and subsequent price action. Now let's look at the next combination signal or the third combination signal. We are going to look at two combination signals here, the combination signals 3 and 4. So these two are the signs of strength and they indicate that strength is coming after a down move. In trading view, these are called ST1 and ST2. First, let's look at the conditions for ST1. The major, medium and minor trend should be down. The last bar should be a down bar. And the current bar is a widespread up bar closing high with high volume. Now, let's look at the next signal which is the ST2. The conditions for ST2 are the medium and minor trend are down. The last bar is a down bar and the current bar is a widespread up bar closing high with volume high. Now the main difference between ST2 and ST1 are that ST1 is giving the conditions of strength coming after a long down move. As you can see, the major, medium and minor trends are down. But whereas ST2, we can see that medium and minor trend are down. That means it catches the strength coming after an intermediate downtrend or a smaller downtrend. Whereas ST1 catches the strength coming after a long downtrend. So these are the two differences, but they still indicate that the strength is coming after a down move. Now let's look at some examples of ST1 and ST2. In this example, I have the chart of Aditya Birla fashions. Again, I'm using the replay mode here. Now this, our chart starts from the 5th of April 2022. So let's see how the prices play out here in effort to move up here. Now we have a pseudo upthrust bar. And the next bar is a confirmation of the pseudo upthrust bar. This is, you know that PUC is a derived signal. So as expected, the stock is now moving down here. Some sideways moves. The minor trend or the intermediate trend is down. Now we can see all the trends, the major, intermediate, and the immediate trend are all down here. Now we can see a strength coming in here. The previous bar is a down bar and all the trends are down and you have an up bar here. And you can see the long 
tail here shows that there has been a lot of buying and it is also on increased volume. So it is clearly the strength is coming in here. So one important thing uh, we can do here is to draw the level of the low of the ST1 bar. This uh, serves as a good reference. Any uh, close below this will take it down further. So let's see how it uh, plays out. You can see the next bar again buying is there and some bullishness is coming here. Some strength coming here. Again we have <coughs> unable to move the price up further, some weakness. It is again testing this line here, the low of the ST1 bar here. Again an effort to move up. But that too failed here. That means a lot of supply is still present here. You can almost like a double top kind of pattern here. And it, now it is broken this, the low of the ST1 bar. So it is going down further in effort to move down here. Here again you have an ST1 bar here. So again I will draw the low. The here of the ST1 bar, but there's the bar has got multiple signals coming in here, but it is again an ST1 bar. So, here again, you can see the strength has come in here. No supply bar is a good thing, and it's again some sideways move and attempt to move up here. Here again, you can see the minor, uh, the intermediate trend is down and you have the ST2 bar. Because in the next version of this uh, uh, software, we will refine the ST2 signal further to give much better indication. But right now you can see that strength is coming in again. And let's see if that really brings in strength. And you can see it does bring in strength and the stock is moving up here. So strength has come in here. So these are an examples of an ST1 and ST2 bar. So drawing the low of the ST1 bar is uh, gives us a good reference point for further uh, movement of the stock. Next combination signal, that is the combination signal number 5, is also a sign of strength, again indicating that strength is coming after down move. In trading view, it is called ST. Now, what are the conditions for the ST? The conditions are that the current bar is an up bar closing on the high and the last bar was a ST1 or ST2. Also, it can be that the current bar is an up bar closing on the high and the last bar was a successful low volume test. So along with this current bar is an up bar closing on the up, you can have two conditions. That is one is the last bar is an ST1 or ST2. The other one is the last bar was a successful low volume test. Now let's look at some examples of the ST bar. In this example, I have the chart of KPIT technologies. Again, using the replay mode and our chart starts from the 2nd of March 2021. The stock made an up move here and it's been moving sideways here. A lot of consolidation happening here. So let's see how the prices play out here. More of sideways move. Then you have a BC bar here. So we know that the BC bar indicate weakness. So let us draw the 
shadow of supply of the BC bar here. And let's see how the stock reacts to this weakness. The next bar is an UT bar and also a selling condition exist bar. And the weakness is again confirmed by an UT2 bar. We know that the, the low of the BC bar is now important for us. A break below this would take the stock much further down. So let's see if that low will hold here. Apparently, this is holding. We have another pseudo of thrust bar here. But it's not moving down too much. Then you have a successful low volume test. And the next bar is an ST bar. Now, as per definition, the ST bar is an up bar after a low volume test or an up bar after an ST1 or ST2 bar. So let's see if this ST bar brings the strength back. It's trying to move up again. Now there's an attempt to break above the high of the BC bar, but you can see a lot of supply here as indicated by the long wick here. So that supply is still persisting and so we see some sideways move here. Then again it is trying to move up. Now here it is really or successfully broken above the shadow of supply of the BC bar here. So this ST bar did bring in the strength or indicated that strength is coming back. One point to note here is that in the charts you will always find this combination only that the ST bar after a low volume test. The other definition which says the ST bar can also be an up bar after an ST1 and ST2 bar. But for this condition the ST bar always is mixed up with the BCE bar, uh, the, uh, bar that is the by condition exist bar or an UU bar. So such uh, duplications it does exist in this current software or the current script which uh, will be removed in the next version which uh, we are planning to enhance uh, much better. So let us hope that we'll be able to achieve that soon. We will look at the last combination signal or the combination signal number six. It is again a sign of strength by condition exists, something an opposite to cell condition exists. In trading view, it is called BCE by condition exists. Now, for this bar, there are two conditions one is a current bar, is a widespread up bar, and the second condition is the previous bar is an ST1 or ST2. Many times this BCE coincides with the ST bar. Only difference here we can see we don't talk about the volume. Here we are just saying it's an up bar. So it many times it coincides with the ST bar indication. Now let's look at some examples of the BCE bar. In this example, I have the chart of KE Industries. Again, using the replay mode, you start 
the chart starts from the 27th of January 2022. So we'll see how the prices play out. The overall movement has been sideways here. Now it is moving down. The intermediate trend is also down here, you can see. Now the major trend is also down. Here we have all the three trends down and we have an ST1 bar here. So the next bar is a buy condition exist bar. That is a confirmation of strength coming in. So as usual, I it will draw the uh, low of the ST1 bar. Now we have the confirmation. So I can shift this level to this bar. So once the these two levels can give a good guidance, whether more downside will appear here. So let's see how the prices play out. Some weakness coming in here, but now we have a low volume test here. Again moving up, but all sideways. Now the effort to move up, but again we have a UT and the sell condition exists bar here. UT2 is a confirmation, but it still stayed about the low of the BC bar here. Now for after some consolidation here, the stock has started moving up here. So the VCE bar is a confirmation of, of strength from the ST1 bar. And these uh, levels, the low levels of the ST1 bar and the BCE bar are good guidance or reference uh, levels for us to see how the stock moves further. With this, we come to the end of the series on volume spread analysis. I do hope that you found this series useful. I have tried to make it as simple as possible with many examples. Of course, I will continue to post some videos on the analysis part without going into the details of the individual SOS or SOW. So it will be a learning process to see how we analyze putting all these SOS and SOWs together. If you found this series useful, please share it with your trader friends who are interested in price action with volume. In case you find this video useful, do press the like button. And thank you very much for all the time you spent and the patience you showed to watch the entire video series.